Uh, so welcome back to the channel. This is not a normal video for me. Uh, normally I'm doing cars, but this is uh, kind of an overview of what cameras I use to do my videos and actually the absence of cameras. Um, right now I'm shooting this on a Note 10 Plus and then uh, the only other things I record with is either my static shots with my GoPro uh, Hero Black the 7. Uh, a lot of people say the GoPros are buggy and they're getting away from them, but the 7 Black series has worked out pretty well for me. Um, I have a high performance SD card in here and anyway, it just works. So that's all a lot of the static shots you see in the car. But generally, anything you see of me doing projects in the car, uh, most of, like, majority of my videos have been shot on this Note 10 Plus that you see now. Or my handheld, my daily driver, my Note 20 Ultra. Now, um, I, I needed to get an upgrade. And uh, I've been waiting for the next uh, Samsung Note. They haven't made one. They stopped making them. And then they came out with the S22 Ultra. But it really wasn't that much better than my Note 20 Ultra. And I spent all my money on my car. Well, this year, I really want some better um, camera uh, quality so I picked up the Galaxy S23 Ultra now I had to shoot this one twice because I left my IMEI number visible but this is the one terabyte graphene uh, color or special color I don't know um, when you go at the one terabyte edition there's like less options but now you're gonna see from now on any of the videos I'm shooting where I'm have a handheld it's gonna be with this S23 Ultra um, oh, also, I forgot to mention, I've been uh, using this uh, FLIR uh, 1 Pro, which is an infrared camera. This thing is awesome. It just uh, clips into the bottom of your cell phone um, and records infrared. So there, I'll, I'll put it in the drop down, one of my last videos where I use this. It's really neat. I have more ideas for using that in the future, so I guess check back to see if I have more of those. But getting back to my normal filming, um, yeah, I, I film with the S10+. Plus. Uh, inside my car foot in in car footage this one normally mounts on the outside to get my like runs and then uh, Normal like working around the shop upgrades in the car Those are filmed with either the note 10 plus or the uh, note 20 ultra 5g uh, And this is also the the biggest one you can get uh, unfortunately this they only came with 512 that was the largest storage you can get on these and um but it does allow you through the uh, SIM card to add in an exterior, external uh, memory adapt or memory card, which I have another terabyte in here. Most people say they don't need much space on phones. I, I don't like to delete anything, so I wish I could get like five terabytes in my phone. Uh, I really don't care how much it costs. I just want storage. Unfortunately, with the Note 23 and the Note 22, uh, you can't get external cards. So at least they give you a one terabyte option, which is nice. But... Uh, yeah, so this was a special, whatever, one terabyte order of it. Almost all the reviewers that have been reviewing these are the 256, maybe 512 versions. But uh, yeah, you pay more for the phone, you get a smaller box with less stuff in it. Uh, this one just comes with the ejection tool, some stupid paper that tells you nothing but legal stuff, and uh, ADA, a C to C cable. But uh, let's check out the phone. Uh, it's got this little protector on it. Now this is a one of the special colors you can only get if you get it from like Samsung's website or pre-order or, so, pre pre -order or something. Um, it's going to live in the case for me. And actually, you notice on my actual old phone, I use a Kevlar and carbon fiber case. This thing's awesome. They're, they protect very well. I get them from later case. Um, the only downside to this is I wish they'd spend less money on the box and uh, either have a cheaper product or I don't know something else because this is it's a it's it's got this like magnet and it's got this stupid tray thing all to to and foam just for the case it's like stop wasting stuff just give me the case but they are awesome cases they're super super thin and it actually protects the phone mine's been saved multiple times so I'll put that on here in a second Let's get this off and uh yeah, it's almost identical to the S22 Ultra if you have one of those. Get this case on here. Um, so now it's ultra thin. Um, pretty much very similar to the uh, Note 20 Ultra. Uh, the size is almost pretty much identical, except for the cameras. And that's the main reason I'm getting this, is the cameras are awesome. It's got a 200 megapixel main camera and ultra wide, and I'll link to some other videos that talk more about those specs. But for me, I can't wait to start recording um, in the car and, and whatnot with this. So you'll see that uh, it's got the uh, the 200 megapixel camera. 
options and the 50 megapixel option and then video it all it does um it does 8k at 30 frames now the note 20 ultra also did 8k but only did 24 frames it really wasn't usable video and i'm probably going to only shoot at 4k 60 frames but with uh, this thing's new camera loadout the camera is larger or uh, cameras the space is larger for more optical stabilization so it should get buttery smooth uh video of everything so i can't wait to get this into the car and uh making my videos better because that's all i really care about as much as i can get better video quality next on my list is better microphones now i didn't do it in this video but the um uh, i do have an external mic that this plugs into on the car to get that better exhaust sound and then uh, i probably end up getting a lapel mic but uh yeah that's uh that's it for how i record my videos using cell phones they're high-end cell phones i mean um think about it uh, normally i spend all my money on the car uh, to make it go faster but because I was, I was buying this for work anyway i might as well uh, get something that also does video recording now this is not a phone that most people would normally buy this was like even after discounts was sixteen hundred dollars yeah it's expensive i think this was thirteen hundred dollars when i bought it but uh i don't really i don't really after spending all the money on that i really don't have more money to go buy another gopro so i'm just gonna get the best i can out of this because when I'm not racing, this just sits on my desk, you know, most of the year. Uh, whereas this, I use every day, so I, it makes sense to spend more money on a on an expensive phone, but also has that uh, that awesome camera. And should be uh, butter smooth. So we'll see how that goes. So here's some test video of it. Thanks for watching, and uh, time to get back at it. All right, here's a quick uh, test video, so you can get an idea of what it looks like. Uh, this is being shot in 4K 60 frames, and uh, when I put this in Adobe Premiere, I will upscale to uh, 8K. I, just, I don't know why, I just like doing that. Anyway, um, just jumping around. The steady, it's very steady. I'm moving the camera up and down about six inches right now, side to side. Really clear. So, yeah, I guess there's some sneak peeks. Got the hood vents in the car, did some work inside of here. Let's see what this thing looks like in a little bit of a darker area. Wow, that's actually pretty clear. Um, the removable steering wheel is really nice, and I can also show you, this is something I haven't shown on video yet, but uh, I made that little bar there for my, mon my battery monitor and then all my other USB power stuff so all the cameras in the car when I'm recording can go. I have a hard mount here for an interior camera. Um, and then I have the one up here. This is where I have my GoPro normally. And that's usually where I have my backup camera. So this, uh, and then everything powers in here off a of USB with the little toggle switch to, to charge it. I only have a three pound lithium battery, so I'm really cautious about how much power I'm using. Um, most of my work on the car this off season has been in my trailer, getting better living quarters. So anyway, this is all about the camera. And man, this looks really good jump around and uh, it doesn't uh, really uh, look bad at all so I can't wait till I get this thing out in the sun and see what this camera does and uh, really just can't wait to get get out racing so thanks for watching and uh, check out some other racing videos I'll link them up above or after the video or wherever so see you in the next one